Hello everyone. When you are, oh look how cool my sleeves are. They're fun, aren't they? I look like a little angel on top of a Christmas tree. When you're watching this video, I am going to be in sunny, I hope, sunny, sunny Mykonos. That is me tanning, by the way, this thing, which this pose I'm doing, which I don't even do. I don't sit in the sun, but hopefully I'll actually be partying and raving it up on the beach because apparently all you do is dance there and I'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun and I'm trying trying to be really really organized and efficient in my packing because I feel like we're doing a lot of things there's even like a schedule that's been being sent around it's 15 of us 12 of us, 12 of us. There's a big number of people going. So I wanna be organized and efficient with my packing, pack my exact outfits and back up so that I don't get there and I'm like, this top doesn't go with this skirt and then I get in a faff and then I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, I don't want a situation like that. So I'm gonna take you through my entire packing. I have my giant empty suitcase right now. This suitcase is amazing. It's from Toomey. I use it all the time. It fits loads and it has like two little compartments in the middle but i'm just going to take you through everything in this video that i'm packing and give you hopefully a really great overview i'm not exactly like a packing cubes marie kondo kind of girl so this is definitely going to be a bit more realistic i know loads of people are going to ask where this top is from now that i've given it air time it's actually from free people i don't know if they still have it, it actually has a hood as well so cute isn't it i look like a little green tomato um, <laughs> but if i can still find a link to it i'll link it down below and i'm also wearing my skinny dip jewelry i think these have just sold out like this morning so i don't know if you can still get these but there are a few pieces left i have this hair slide is still in stock and my favorite necklace in the collection actually this long long dangly one which I love I'm definitely bringing this to make an I feel like it'll be great to wear with bikinis and swimsuits so if you still want to get your hands on anything you can I will link it down below so before we begin this is what I've been doing I have basically been taking where is my phone here it is I've basically been taking as you can see my outfit pictures in the mirror so then I can go back and be like this 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 goes with this this goes with this so once I've taken all my pics I literally in these bags have put the exact outfit I've been like cool that's an outfit and I've put it in the bag so basically I've kind of packed all my clothes already got my bags of clothes this is my giant empty suitcase and you can see this side of the suitcase this is so pedantic of me this side is flat and this side has the two little like wheelie handily things in it so i normally put makeup bags and stuff on that side and clothes on this side so let's take these little guys out now here are my literal exact outfits so i don't have any backups in here yet but i think when i've actually packed everything together like for example this is a top and it goes with these shorts like that's a dress kind of thing i just i've done everything all together like this little dress can go in here i don't roll my clothes mainly because like that's a faff and i can't be bothered even my swimsuits like i normally pack my swimsuits separately and just bring like 10 swimsuits or whatever not 10 but you know what i mean pack them all together but i plan my swimsuits as outfits like so this is oops hold on this is an outfit basically so i've done it a bit differently this time as i will we'll like be going out and partying and stuff in swimsuits if that makes sense so that goes there that goes there oh my god i'm gonna have so much room planning outfits is the way forward oh i just bought this from i think it was pretty little thing or oh no nasty gal how cool is that as a cover-up I'm so excited to wear it. I might do an outfits video when I'm there. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing it. This is another little little bright number. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear that. That's actually a backup one. And we have a few more bits and bobs. There are quite a few labels hanging out because I bought quite a few new things. Oh, how cute is the skirt? It has little pop-ups at the bottom. It's so sweet. Now, I kind of hope like I'll end up with a good maybe like three or four backup outfits that would be the ideal scenario oh i also got this shirt which is a bit annoying because it's not like can you see it's just gonna be a real pain to wear because it's gonna be so crinkly but 
figured I'll wear it for a bit. But I don't normally like packing things that I have to iron. Like this, for example, this sort of like chiffon-y material is perfect because you never need to iron it when you're there and it doesn't get creased in your suitcase or anything. So this is literally perfection. And I'm just shoving it all together, as you can see, and I don't even need to do anything with it, it's great. Okay, so, oh, this is a great little, little sexy bra situation. Well, it's not really a bra, but it's more of a, a corset top. So, oh my God, this is from Reformation, guys. Apparently, this piece of material is a top. It's literally a piece of material the size of my head. Gonna try to be really adventurous and pack this piece of material. Basically, I'm waiting for a pair of denim shorts to arrive. Hopefully they'll arrive today. We had some denim shorts and I went to my sister the other day and I was like, where are all the denim shorts? And she goes, she goes, denim shorts aren't cool anymore. I threw them all away. I literally was like, thanks for the heads up, sis. And I think also she gave them to my cousins, got threw them away, but the concept was just like cleansing of thy denim shorts because they're just not cool. Apparently also Valentino rock stars aren't cool anymore either. Can we please discuss that in the comments? Thanks. This is another swimsuit, another swimsuit. This is a cute little outfit, piece of material in black. This is me trying to embrace single life, this, this piece of material as a top. If you see me in Mykonos with tags around my clothes, you know why. Probably because I was drunk putting them on and forgot to take them off in London. Okay, so that's literally all my outfits in half, and I have half a suitcase left. Like, I have so much room. This has never happened to me before, ever, by the way. As for shoes, apparently it's not really a heels kind of place. So I'm only bringing one pair of semi heels. I might change my mind about this last minute, but, oh, oh. okay. They are these Rene Cavolia ones from Louise Villaroma. I love Louise Villaroma selection of Rene Cavolia shoes because they just have a really great returns policy. They ship really quickly and they're the best place to buy them online i find they kind of like go up your leg they're so cool like look at this heel i get so many compliments on these i can't even tell you so many questions the first time i put them on instagram i hadn't said like oh i bought these new shoes and all the comments were like where are these shoes from so i'm gonna bring these because it's like a heel but not really a heel but like you know you know what i mean now what i do with my shoes is i have a giant nice nice big fat selection here of shoe bags to put my shoesies in. These ones are kind of a bit annoying to pack. I mean, I have taken them on a few trips and they haven't lost their shape, so that's good. But they are a bit annoying because you can't obviously like fold them into one, if you know what I mean. I might actually put them on this side of the suitcase next to clothes because I feel like I could still bring at least four backup outfits in there and have shoes in at the same time. So let's do that. These are, oh, they're such gorgeous shoes. I'm really in a shoes phase at the moment. If you haven't been able to tell by my Instagram, somebody, somebody, okay. These are Hermes, they're new. I just put my unboxing on Instagram on them. I haven't actually even worn them yet. Look at those clean, clean soles. So I'm gonna bring these with me as well. I don't know what the partying situation is there. Like if it's gonna be like grim on the floor and then my shoes will get ruined but i'm going to suss it out on the first day and then decide if these can come out or if they're just going to like go to the beach you know but those go in there then i have one two three other pairs of flats um let's start with the nicest ones these are also renee cavolia i am obsessed with this brand of shoes they are so amazing i saw these on louisa via roma and then my mum bought them for me for my birthday they have little pearls on them and a little pink bow and they're just so sweet and so me. I think they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna bring these as well. Here we go. These are going in here. Dun, dun, dun. Those go in there. Um, the other pair of sandals I'm gonna wear are these Noopy ones. I was sent these recently. I unboxed them on my Unboxing Friday on my IGTV and you can change the little string. So I have blue and white stripes as well. And I just feel like that's a really great versatile, versatile shoe that I'm gonna bring 
with me as well. So let's put those in here. And then lastly, these ones are quite old. As you can see, these are Sam Edelman's, but they're so comfortable. And I just figured I don't mind if they get too battered. They're really like durable, durable shoes and comfortable as well. So if I'm dancing all day and night, then these would be absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna bring these and those are my shoes. How many pairs is that? One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Four days, five shoes. No? Oh, is it five days? Can't remember. <laughs> okay, next. But now I have a bit of room, a bit more room. I can't believe I've only done one side. Planning your packing is revelationary. No, revolutionary. It's a revelation that it is revolutionary. P is laughing at me. <laughs> I'm going with loads of girls as well, and everyone has been bugging me and nagging me for our phone cases. So I have got one, two, three, four, five phone cases with me that I'm bringing. This is the one that I have on my phone, which I love. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And then we also have ooh, 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 <laughs> the sunflower one as well, which is so cute. I'm going to link these down below. We did these as like an add-on for our restock as like a special surprise. So I'm gonna link them down below. Gifts for the girls. Now what I do with my underwear is I normally pack like a tiny little shoe string bag type thing. Put all my undies in here. Got my underwear and my bras actually. It looks quite small to fit bras, but once you, you know, do the whole thing, it's all good. Then I have sunglasses. I have a few pairs. I have these from Bulgari, which are very cute, aren't they? Yes. Then I have these, which are very cool. I feel like I, I wanted more of a cool look. I'm go for these. And I can do the whole, you know, that thing that everyone does on Instagram. Like that lunch pose. You know, like. With the eyebrow up. Yeah, with the eyebrow. Uh, <laughs> thing that's like, mm. You'll see me doing that at some point on the ground. Yes. How cringe is calling Instagram the ground? Mm, cringe at myself. <sighs> then I have these. I might bring a few more pairs actually. These are new. Again, I can do the whole, like. Thing. I really can't pull that off, can I? I need to just wear my sunglasses like a normal person. Okay, next up is bags. I'm gonna wear my white Prada straw bag, I think on the plane, because it fits the most stuff. But I have three more bags that I'm bringing. That's restraint for me, okay? That is restraint, people. <laughs> Someone's shaking their head watching this. <laughs> I have a little evening bag, my Prada Kahir bag. This is a great one because it has this strap. So when I want to dance and use my arms and like, you know, do, do the classic Amelia, even though it hits me in the chest, it's just a really easy one to carry around and wear. And I'm going to put this in a little, a little guy here and uh, then we can just put it in there. Um, this is a bag I did have years ago and it totally went to shreds and I wasn't very impressed to be honest. I maybe bought it when the brand first launched and there just really isn't anything that like it on the market and I really wanted to try it out again, give the brand the benefit of the doubt and hope that they've upped their quality. I will report back if it's totally poop again, but it's from Rayfeather. It comes really quickly. You can get these kind of like personalized straw bags. You can choose the colors, you can choose your initial color, you can choose the color of this, if it's like a dark or a light. I really like this bag. Like I really, I want it to last. Last time within days, all the paint had chipped off. It was fraying literally within days and I wasn't like going and partying like I was now. I was literally in a hotel in Dubai going from my room to the pool. So I really hope it will last and be nice because I'll be really annoyed if it doesn't, but I'll let you know. It does come really quickly. I think I ordered it like a week ago and for personalization stuff, I think that's pretty good. So let's see where we get to on this bag front. The, the other bag's one. actually on the bag. This is cute as well. Yeah, this bag is cute, isn't it? I did think yeah, that actually. too. I was like, I want to keep it. It's cute. The last bag I want to show you is so cute. You might die. Just wait for it. Oh. <gasps> No! I'm sorry, what is this? It's actually way heavier than I thought it would be. I saw it on Instagram and then I was like, oh my God, it's actually really heavy. Also, oh. can I just tell you one thing? It's so impractical. Like, look at them holes. <laughs> you, you can see your eye through it. Wait, do that again. <laughs> can you actually? Oh no, I can't see it. 
definitely need to put like a shoe bag or something inside. But it's so cute! Dead! Dead. So, that's that. As for hats, I'm only gonna bring one. This one is my favorite from Gucci. I have a hair clip on, so it might look a bit weird, but this is my fave hat. I think I might wear this on the plane as well. We're going quite early, and I just wanna be like, please, I'm such a diva. Nobody talk to me or speak to me. <laughs> and, you know, when like people wear their hats on the planes, and you're just like, why? And they're like walking on the plane, and like their hat takes up like half the aisle. That's gonna be me. I'm so excited. Well, excuse me, my fashion impaired friends. I am here to tell you that hats are back. I just, I feel like it would just be easier for me to bring it then pack it and also I'll probably wash my hair when I get there and stuff. Next on my list to go through is beauty. Now I have one skincare bag and one makeup bag. These makeup bags are so good and they're wiped clean and they just fit loads and loads. I'm going to maybe talk you through skincare first. I'm thinking about doing like a makeup video or something when I'm there so let me know. I have all these like, ideas when I'm there but hopefully realistically I'm going to be drunk the entire time so that'll be fun. <laughs> P.S. Like, I never used to do it up until two months ago. Like, I know. Two months ago, I was like, get me a big, fat, juicy glass, glass of water. Of wine. <laughs> no, okay, that was pre. Two that was pre. Ago. Post two months ago, I'm like, give me the wine. Right. The bottle. The bottle. The magnum. <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of enjoy it now. Anyway, <sighs> makeup wise. To take off the makeup ASAP quickly speedily efficiently to need take the day off balm it's the best i've been through so many of them it literally just melts away your entire face even waterproof mascara so good to tone my face i figured that will last me this is the beauty lotion from lumen so good i love this brand so much it just doesn't really smell like anything it's just quite fresh really simple just takes off that layer keeps the skin hydrated then for an evening moisturizer, I mean, I told you I was obsessed with, oh my dear, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> for moisturizers, I have a day and an evening. For the day from Lumen, I use the Nordic Glow Moisturizer. It's really gorgeous. It does give you a glow, keeps your skin really hydrated, smells great. This one I'm almost out of, it is their overnight cream. I mean, I might finish it again in Mykonos, but it just, oh smooths over the skin it makes your skin all plump and hydrated it's great when you are drinking your life away like i am right now <laughs> then we have the moisture surge eye from clinique great new product i love moisture surge hydrates lifts tightens like makes it look alive under there you know then i have a few more other bits and bobs got my deodorant this is secret Got my body moisturizer, love a moisturizer with a pump. This is Ganyne Body Milk, nice and light. Got my SPF, this is genius. It has this little ring thing and you spray and it just mists the whole, oh my God, it is unbelievable. It's from Garnier, it's actually new. If you wanna see it in action, go over to my Instagram because it really mists your entire skin. If you're the kind of person that wants coverage from the sun all over your body like me because i get laser hair removal and i can't sit in the sun and i don't want to tan i like self tan then uh this is the one for you i actually might pack myself tan with me the sandra pay one that's not a bad idea i just thought of that i need to write that down hold on then very essential the batiste lost the lid shame and fragrance this is my fragrance right now it's from lancome it's a really cool bottle isn't it it just oh it smells so good i love that smell oh you know what this smell smells like to me now it smells like change but in a good way like a motivating way i thought it's you really meant sexy. changes in money no. <laughs> i was like what? that's really not a very oh good smell God. i meant change like <laughs> You were trying to be made of eating, yeah. I was like... <laughs> it, it represents oh, a sexy new human. <laughs> Not calling myself Not. a sexy new human, but do you know what I mean? I just, it smells like confidence. That's what it smells like. Also, I have a roller in here. Remedies to roll by knees, Neil's Yard in case I just can't really sleep. And I'm like... Oh, I'm tired now.
<laughs> so I just shout out a few makeup babes, because why not? I'm not gonna go through them all. Otherwise I'll be here all day. Let me just tell you, oh, new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This is in In Love With Olivia, I think, yeah. Gorgeous color, love it. Do, 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 do. A great nude. Not the one I'm wearing now, actually. I'm wearing um, Guerlain Rouge G in number two. It's the one I had in my handbag. What else do we have in here? That is great. Oh, I have pumped out a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body into this old Clinique eye cream so that I can rub it on myself when I'm at the beach or something before I go to the beach. And then we also have, oh, this is great. This is the Lumen Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. Fabulous for leaving your skin a little bit of coverage, light to medium, sort of buildable, but keeping your skin hydrated, adding that bit of glow that I like. Gorgeous product. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, I love this also. You can see I have all my disgusting brush hairs in it. But um, this is also Lumen. I'm just obsessed with this brand. Apparently it's actually called Lumine. I need to start saying the proper name. But it's highlighter and blush. It just It's cream and it looks really natural on the skin. So that's all my makeup in there. Oh, this was the other thing I'm gonna bring. Oh, I need to bring my hairbrush. I should probably de-hair it before I leave. I'm going to bring one hair tool the big guy now this has recently changed my life it is the dyson air wrap <sighs> you have not lived pre dyson air wrap i mean it is it does everything for you it straightens it gives you the volume it curls it's literally game changing so i'm definitely going to bring this you literally attach the little heads onto this. I'm gonna bring this one because this one gives me the most volume. Then I'm gonna bring this because this blow dries. And then I'm gonna bring this because this curls. And maybe- I mean, maybe bring the whole box. <laughs> maybe one that straightens also. But it is honestly <laughs> game changing. It's game changing. Wait, which ones are you leaving but, behind then? <laughs> no, but I basically, I need to use this even like the day before I leave, so I'm not going to pack it right now, but I'm just letting you know <laughs> that it's coming with me because it's my child. It's the best possession I own. Guys, this is me basically all packed. I even have room in my suitcase. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to add in a few last minute essentials like my Dyson, maybe a few more swimsuits. Maybe a couple more evening dresses. Maybe some pair of heels. Who knows? But you know, the world is my oyster here. Look how much freaking space I have. Like this is next level space, okay? So I can I can really do whatever I like. <laughs> I feel so smug with my suitcase, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will see you on my Instagram whilst I'm in Mykonos. If you want to know what I've been doing and probably see me making a fool out of myself dancing on a table with hopefully some hot Greek man. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see that. Take two of Magic Mike. <laughs>